Okay, so you've made your prediction on page nine. Does air have mass? You've all made your prediction. So I've got a deflated beach ball. Cole and I are going to measure it. I have two, what are these called? Scales. Scales, Scales. but it was in our video I clip. What's it called? Yeah, it three scales. <laughs> Triple, Triple mass. Mass. beam balances. <laughs> so when I place this on here, I want to figure out how heavy it is. So I need to put everything to zero. I slide my hundred first, and there's gonna be a notch. I can feel it. That's too heavy. I'm gonna put it back to zero. <coughs> then I'm going to get my tens place, and I'm gonna slide it across, and I can feel those notches. Cole's gonna do exactly what I'm doing in a moment. Ooh, 40. That's too heavy. I better go back to 30. Now I need to get my ones, and I'm gonna use my fingernail and kind of grab the bottom I don't want to change this. I don't want to press down because it'll start it bouncing. And then it's really, really hard to tell the mass. So I'm going to kind of slide this across. I think you need to bring back 40. Well, 40 made it go too low. So this will reach to 10. So if I have 30 plus 10, that will end up giving me 40 again. Oh, it's all, did you see it start to move? Oh. So I'm just barely pressing because I want to try to get it even. So I am at, ooh, pretty good. Okay, Cole, start doing yours in a moment here. Can you put, are yours on zero? Uh, yeah. So I look like I'm at 38.8, okay? On page, I'm going to give you the ball so What's Cole can do the same thing. So at your seats, have a seat please, those of you guys that are up here. What's the mass of the deflated ball? On your chart, right here, thanks David. I'm gonna put a line right here on page 10. This is Mrs. N's scale. This one is Cole's. We might get different numbers. Why might we get different numbers? Aiden, why? Because you're inflating them, right? Eventually we will. No, oh, correct. But we're starting with a deflated ball, though, Derek. Why do I want to make sure I get it on two scales? Because. <coughs> to compare, yeah. Sometimes one of these might be a little bit off, right? So I want to have two, if I can get two measurements, that's going to give me a much more accurate result in the end. Mine was 38.8 G's. Grams, what'd you get? Oh, yep. Go ahead and get yours. And remember, we're filming this lesson because there are people that are absent. So if they're absent, they need to know what we did, which is why I need you guys in the back to keep the voices down so that he can film everything that's happening, okay? Wait, Ms. what was yours? 38.8 G, or grams. How you doing? You're at 35-ish, yeah. okay. Three, eight, Ooh, one. He, he's still getting his? Go back a little bit more, maybe? Maybe a little more, because it's a little bit heavy. It's below your zero line. Yeah, keep going. See how it's just fluctuating that little bit? Sometimes people will stand above it, and just by breathing, actually bounce my thing. So that's why I always tell my students to get as low so you're at eye level. I'm leaving mine here because when I add air, we want to see if it's going to be heavier. How are you doing now? Oh, that's not too bad. Just a little bit heavy. Slide that just slightly. What do you got there? 30 what? 36.2. 36.2 for Kohl's. All right, now, we're gonna take this uh, air pump, okay? I'm gonna put it in here. There's a little valve that I'm gonna try to poke through to open up, there we go. 
Now, I'm using a needle because there's a little valve in there that's going to try to hold it, and I'm going to pump, okay? So just like this, I'm going to pump it up, okay? Can you press stop? 